JCB are a world-class manufacturer based in the UK. We're here at the JCB Academy to discuss why Mitutoyo UK embrace all their metrology and inspection needs for their young learners. Graham, you're the team leader here for technical delivery at the JCB Academy, but could you tell us a little bit about the Academy, but also how JCB fits within that? Yeah, certainly. Um, the Academy started off in 2010 as a, as a development and, and an idea to improve the amount of, of business leaders and, and engineers that we had going forward into the future. Um, it was a matter of a discussion between Lord Bamford and we brought in technical partners, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, Network Rail, amongst a couple of others, to develop the curriculum for that that would go forward to actually bring this ethos about. And from those small beginnings in 2010, we're now around 500 plus learners within that academy of, of school age, uh, predominantly around year 10, year 11, and the plan to move forward is to increase year 9, and we're going to start that off for this next academic year going forward, so we're going to bring an intake of year 9 into that as well. The building itself was a, was a, a mill built by uh, Arkwright in the 1800s and was, was left in a bit of a state of disrepair, um, so the mill was purchased and obviously restored to, the, to what you see now uh, in terms of um, a, a delivery area for the schools and, and apprenticeships moving forward. So these learners that come through the JCB Academy, do, do they really are looking to work in industry or for JCB? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. Um, as I say, we, we don't just do JCB's learners. The, there are a number of others that like to use us as well. And, and the primary role really in terms of my area is, is the apprenticeship scheme where they will be either directly employed by industry when they come to us or, or certainly actively seeking to get into engineering. Um, the vast majority, in fact, all of our focus is on those that are already employed um, and, and we take them on for various companies and, and train them to whatever level or, or aspect they require, whether that's a level two craft learner right the way through to foundation degree uh, in whatever specific area that the company requires. And your background and your colleagues, are you from industry? All of our colleagues, are, are the, the guys who are delivering at the academy are from industry. Uh, in varying amounts of years, we'd all tend to be a bit long in the tooth, but that's given us quite a range of of backgrounds that we can cover any area that the students might have a question in. My background is aerospace tool making. I've had a number of years running small businesses and going into design and, and branching off into various areas. And I think all of us have had that range of experiences that we've built up over the years, which allows us to make it more interesting and, and put in real world tasks in front of the students instead of just a, a created area. We can, we can give them some substance as to why they're doing that role. So I think in terms of, of that experience from all of us helps, certainly in, in, in the role that the students foresee for themselves going forward and how colourful we can make engineering. It's real, real world. Well, it sounds like a very big success story here and obviously your growth in seven or eight years. Is there, is there more to come? Absolutely, yeah. The, the, the apprentice intake that we're taking on year on year has, has seen an exponential growth uh, and that is only planned to get bigger and bigger. So th there's plans afoot to expand even further each time we seem to take a build on and, and, and improve and develop it, we're running into more and more students. We've got a plan now to take on a number of year nines over at the, the academy. They'll obviously fit into year 10, year 11, and then hopefully move across into the apprenticeship training or into sixth form. So we've got to be capable and have the volume of space for those, those learners to move into. Well, today we're here on behalf of Midatoya UK. Now, you head up the technical side, which is the inspection side, but there's a lot of different uh, suppliers of uh, metrology inspection equipment. Why Midatoya? Um, my first dealings with Midatoya were back in 79, um, and, and, and the quality of equipment that they were providing at that time compared to other suppliers really struck a chord. Uh, and I think throughout my work in life, Mitchell Toyo has always played a rather large role in, in the quality of equipment and, and knowing you could rely on that equipment and the backup that they provided. We, we went to a number of suppliers for quotes. Um, Mitchell Toyo came back actually with a, with a really good discount, obviously because they want to support engineering for the future. Um, and we had a chat and actually what they provided us or what they spoke to us about was, was slightly different to our requirements, um, along with a suggestion that had we bought a slightly different area of kit, we could then deliver this standalone metrology unit. So we altered the order, went with Mitchell Toyo's suggestions, uh, come to an agreement, and we're going to be one of their satellite centres to actually deliver a standalone unit in metrology, which allows us to deliver that to all the companies that we, support, we provide for, JCB, uh, Continental, Moore Scorbittle, Alpha Bryce Store, 
some major players in, in industry, certainly in local and far-reaching areas. But it's it's allowing us to do what we want to do with the, with the learners, but it's also allowing us to develop for the future and provide these small block training areas for whoever needs them. So whatever company requires that level of metrology training, they can come to us and we can provide them a short course or a long course in whatever area so we can tailor what we deliver now with, with the equipment that we've had from Mitchell Toyota. Well, Mr. Toy, I have a big portfolio of products, as you can see in their catalogues. Yeah, yeah. But you have a CMM. You've got a lot of student kits as well. Is that something that you put together yourself or, or based on the requirements that you gave to Mr. Toy? It, it, was, it was based on the requirements that, that we gave to Mr. Toy. Um, as I say, they, they said, actually, what you're looking at buying is very similar to what we already hold in to deliver our units out on the field. Um, so we altered our order, as I say, and, and had the kits in. And it does allow us to either deliver in-house here or we can go out to a company and and deliver that required unit. The, the kits, as you see behind you, are based on, on a student set and a tutor set, so we can take in the main bulk of equipment, but all the small tools, so we can train them on stripping micrometers down, what piece of equipment to use for what measurement task they've got to do, making that choice so they reduce the time wasted in engineering actually in, in the field uh, has been great. So we can just take one little bit of kit out or we can take the whole boxes out with us and, and deliver where we need to do that. And how many learners do you have through the system here? At present, we're around 140 plus, uh, and that again looks like a similar number for next year, maybe growing slightly as well. And we tend to deliver on a, on a block system, so we'll have 140 learners for four days of the week, and then one day of the week will be their technical cert. So it rolls over next year, they'll have done the four days for one year, then we'll come in and do one day of the week. So we'll have what we call a legacy of the previous year. So the numbers we take in are really quite large for a, a small young college come school. And based on the, uh, the service and support from Mitutoya, how does that work for you? Excellent. I've, I've never found an issue at all in, in terms of how quickly they respond to either an email or a call. There's always somebody on hand, any technical information, or if they've got to come up to us, there's never been a problem. The, one of the main offices is based at Coventry, probably 40 miles away, and they'll be there within the same day generally. There's never a, never a problem. So when you're looking for more equipment, is there uh, only one name in the marketplace for you guys then? Absolutely, unless there's one specific piece of equipment that Mitchell Toyo don't do, which I'd be amazed, we'd just stick with Mitchell Toyo time and time again. Well, it sounds like a great British success story. Thanks very much for your time, Graham. No problem at all. Thank you for coming in.